One, two, three, go. This is the Yeti Rody 24 quart cooler for $200. And this is the Everbuilt 26 quart cooler and recently it was on sale for $40, which is the highest rated deal we've ever seen for a cooler on Slick Deals. Not bad, so it's best in class versus best in deals. Yes. And we're gonna put these two head to head and test out features, durability, look at design, and see which one comes out ahead. And see if one of these is really worth five of these. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we're gonna do something else, drop, drop test. test. First things first, if you happen to make a purchase through one of our links below, Slick Deals may receive a small commission. However, this is not a sponsored video. Let's just get onto it. Dan, how do we decide on which coolers to test? Well, the Yeti was kind of an obvious choice. It's a really popular brand. And this Yeti Rody 24 is the newest model of the Rody. It just got updated a couple months ago. But the reason we chose the Everbuilt to compare it to is because this is the highest rated cooler deal we've ever seen on Slick Deals. Now, normally this is $80 retail, but back in December, it was only $40. And best deal doesn't always mean cheapest price. No, this is not necessarily the cheapest cooler out there. It's just the best deal. And what our community considers is quality of the product, how often it goes on sale, and just amount of the discount. That's right. Okay, so getting into the design and features, I've had these for about a week now and I've been using them and I have my thoughts of what I think about each, but Johan, what do you feel about the Yeti's design? Right, so this is my first time looking at these, both trying them out. The, the Yeti's definitely much nicer, sleeker, you know, smooth edges and whatnot. The handle, I like that. Um, this feels a little bit more comfortable than the Everbuilt. I think this won't degrade over time, like the Everbuilt is some foam that I think is gonna you know, get moldy pretty fast. The latches are crucial. The latches uh, are insanely better on this in my it's opinion. It's so much yeah. easier to open these, but um, the Everbuilt latches are quite a pain to open up. It takes a lot of force. A child would not be able to open this cooler at all, let alone close it. So these latches are really similar to what the Yeti Rody used to have, right. actually. So this is a new latch design. Exactly. So they, I think they probably, I'm assuming, listened to customer feedback yeah. and improved it. Which one like looks better? Like which one would you rather have? Which one would you rather bring to like a barbecue? This one. Yeah. This one is much nicer. Um, but maybe if I went fishing, this one would come in handy because it randomly has a like a measuring tape on top. I noticed that, I have no idea what it's for. I'm assuming it's for fish. Fish, maybe. Can slap on a fish, see if it's 16 inches or less. We do not have a fish here, otherwise we, we would slap it right on this cooler. Yeah. This also has a drain spout, so you don't need to actually tip the cooler to drain it. Yeah. Um, however, the Yeti's pretty light. It's 13 pounds and this is 19 pounds. Yeah, I, I think it's it's pretty easy to tip this over and just empty it out. I don't see that the, the spout's that crucial. So funny story, I asked my girlfriend what she thought of the Yeti because it got delivered to me first. Mm -hmm. and I was like, what do you think of the design? Does it look good? And she was like, yeah, it's kind of over designed. And I was, I laughed because I'm like, oh, you haven't seen any other cooler yeah. yet. And then when this one arrived, she was like, oh, never mind. Yeah, this the Yeti's is, much better looking. This is yeah. way more simple design. Yeah. I think it looks pretty nice actually. Yeah, no, I like it. It has nice little carve outs here for uh, carrying it. There are some extra features like you mentioned, you know, cup holders potential locks for bears, but uh, you could just not bring bears when you go camping, all yeah. right? Why are you bringing bears camping? Makes no sense. You just don't do it. So which one do you think wins the design award? Well, I think the Yeti wins the design category because of the simplicity. This definitely looks like a cooler. This looks like a cool like Sonos product or something. Yes. However, it's $200. It is 200, so yeah. You pay for that premium nice design. Yeah. So those are the design and features of each cooler, but how well do they actually cool? So we want to do a 24 hour ice test. Right, so we bought uh, a bunch of ice. We put exactly 19 pounds of ice in each cooler. Exact same ice. Exact same ice from the exact same place. And then five balls each of our favorite sparkling water. So we have not opened these yet. They've just been sitting for 24 hours. We have no idea what the results are. Yeah, yeah. so let's, let's check them out. Should we do it? Yeah, All right. let's open. I have the harder. Look at that. Wow. Ah. Opens so easily. I'm already done. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. Hey. That's a good amount of ice left. It's a solid block of ice. But definitely dropped a lot in volume. It dropped a lot. So we're going to weigh the ice because we put 19 pounds in each cooler. Yeah. So we're going to take all the ice out and weigh it and see how much is left. Yeah. 
Okay, what does it say, Johan? All right, let's check. Here we go. 12 pounds. Okay. 12 pounds exactly. So we put 19 pounds in. Yep. This container weighs one pound. All right. So it lost... So it lost eight pounds of ice that okay. turned into water. Okay, so this looks like a lot more ice than the yeah. Everbuilt. This is definitely uh, filled up a lot more. So let's try it out. How much does it weigh? It, how much it weighs? Here we go. 13.8 pounds. 13.8. So the Yeti lost 6.2, Everbuilt lost eight. eight. Yeah. So the Yeti did outperform the Everbuilt. It did. Okay. By a little bit. Interesting. Mm -hmm. now, now, what are we doing? Drop test. Drop test. All right, here we go, Dan. We're about doing to it. ruin $240 worth of coolers. I'm kind of bummed because I kind of want this cooler. Yeah, you might get it after this. I hope it stays intact. Resell value is about to drop. <sighs> All right. That's a good one. Drop. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> okay. Ready? Let's do it. One, two, three, go. Yeti okay, latches. the Yeti's latches came off. Jeez. But they didn't break. They did not break. Neither of them broke. Oh, this scuffed up pretty good. <laughs> so this one actually held up pretty well. There's just some scuff marks on the top of the lid. And but the the the, the latches came off immediately. Yeah, but yeah. they didn't break. They didn't break. So if you're a little clumsy when you are loading or unloading, uh, this is definitely the better one survives the drop test, keeps everything intact. I'm impressed, I'm, pr I'm pretty impressed. Yeah. Never fail hinge, it never fails, or what yeah. is it called? Ne yeah, never, exactly. never break hinge, never didn't break. break. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of our test. Best in class versus... Best in deals. Best in deals. All right. And so, how they perform. Uh, I mean, very similar, right? So drop test, obviously, they both got scuffed up, but not too bad. Yeti cooler, Lid popped open, so the water spilled out. The hinges uh, did not break, or the handles did not break. Handles didn't yeah. break. The hinges are intact, so that was my one worry here. They're poking out a little bit, but yeah, it's fine. Yeah. And uh, obviously these uh, hinges are intact. Not even the Hulk could open those. A little bit of scuff marks, yeah. but nothing too bad. It looks like normal wear and tear, kind of. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I would say, you know, obviously in a drop test, this very scientific drop test, Every built takes the win there since it stayed close. There's a reason nice. for these handles. Yeah. And I guess it's when you drop it. When you drop it. On the concrete. Yeah. Or to keep your grandma or drunk people out of your cooler. Yeah. So what was the point of this test, Johan? We wanted to see what was the best performance and uh, at the end, obviously, what was the best value. So how do you feel? If you got to get one of these as a gift, which one would you get? Okay, if I did not have to pay for either cooler, I'm going Yeti. Oh. I prefer the look of it. Uh, it did perform a little bit better, and it's a little bit higher, so you can use it as a seat, yes. which is very important that is for my cooler nice, considerations. Very nice feature. Um, yeah, I would say the same. If I got one, I got the pick. Probably Yeti. Yeah. No, definitely Yeti. Definitely Yeti. Yeah, if I gifted it to you, you take the Yeti. I would take the Yeti. Can you justify? If you had to buy it yourself, can you justify the $200 price tag over potentially $40 for the Everbuild? No. no. If I have I to pay for it, either. yeah, this is great value, great performance. Not as great as the Eddy, but still really good. It doesn't look as pretty, but you know, for 40 bucks, I'm okay with it. So yeah, that's it. That was our test. Hope you guys liked it. Let us know which one you would have picked. I had fun. That was fun. I want to drop it again. Yeah. And smash the like button. Smash that subscribe button too. Smash. Smash away. Next time. See ya. So it's best in class. How do we just look at the ever built? Which one would you rather bring to like a barbecue? This one class. Ruin. This is definitely the better one. It is Yeti cooler. The hinges. Uh, these hinges are. Ever and I guess people out of your cooler. Yeah. 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 See ya.